Cornelius, are you going to the forest again? You've changed recently. I thought you would have learned to be responsible, but you are still immature. No matter how fascinating that girl in the forest is, remember, you are a prince. Be reasonable and stop acting like a fool. Your Majesty, the prince merely wishes to sow his wild oats while he retains his youth. Stay out of this, you court jester. Calling the royal sorcerer a fool is quite harsh. Father, as I have said, tis no mere game or jape. My feelings are genuine. I told you what happened to your uncle. Do you recall? Are you saying you wish to commit the same mistake? My brother loved a common girl from the village and was disowned by the king. After suffering that humiliation and fleeing the country, he fell ill. Father, this is different. The woman I love is no low-class commoner. I do not believe she is unfit for royalty. A kingdomless princess. What did she expect of you when you first met? Father, please stop insulting her. You may be my father, but I will not hear her impugned. 
Cornelius, I know of another princess. More beautiful, more honorable, wealthier. Let your princess of the forest know my feelings. Regardless of what you say, my mind is made up. If you do not approve, I shall abdicate my heritage. Cornelius, wait! Your Majesty, the Prince will eventually come to his senses. Perhaps we ought to leave him be for now. devoid of life here. If the stories of the netherworld are true, then this is surely it. Hmm. I have to find my way back. Back home to Titania. I must return to the princess. Hold! Your scent. Are you not Titanian royalty? Aye, so I am. I am Prince Cornelius. When I woke up, I was like this. Cornelius, I cannot see what I know. Yes, surely, tis you. This fearful voice that speaks to me from the darkness. Who are you? Even if I told you, you would not believe me. Do not approach me. My flesh is merely a banquet for maggots and other filth. If you saw my body, your very soul would tremble and your blood freeze. <sighs> Take that. You shall find it useful. As Prince of Titania, tis your responsibility. That sword may eventually make my identity known. What do you want of me? Do you know what has happened to me? Go now. If you do not wish misfortune to haunt you forever, aim for your home, Titania. Your destiny awaits there. Wait! Please go. Let me rest. He's gone. <laughs> Tis a dream. An illusion. I'm still asleep in bed. Please let it be a dream. Let me wake from this nightmare and be greeted by the sun's warming rays. But I have no choice. I must continue.
I must speak with you. It is an urgent matter. Please wait for me at our usual spot. I would like to finally shake the indecisiveness I have held for so long. My love, I shall speed towards you, quick as the wind. Prince Cornelius. flesh to ribbons. What do you suggest I do? You. Do you wish to leave here? In order to do so, tis necessary to receive permission from the Queen. Let me guide you to her. But in compensation for my services, I ask you to take me with you when you leave. Agreed? How greedy of you. I cannot promise your safety. Now come, and be quiet, or else they will gather. What are you doing? Stay close to the candle. Without light, you shall not be able to see the ghosts.
will not hand over my treasure, eh? Why didn't you say you had money? My greed is the very reason I'm down here, but I do not regret it. <laughs>
poison. Unfortunately, I do not have a blade to coat with it.
an odd blade. It is frighteningly sharp. It must be a magic sword. Indeed uh. it is. A sword made from the jewels selfishly stolen from here by the dwarves. Sinful bandits who have blundered into the netherworld while alive. Ask yourself how you came to hold that sword. If you wish for the Queen's compassion, be a dear and hand it over to me. I will give you a peaceful death. You are the Queen of the Netherworld? I am the Prince of Titania. I do not know why I am here. I would like you to return me to the living world. Once you enter this land, you cannot be allowed to leave. Whoever you are is irrelevant. Your careless existence makes you want to leave. This is the land of the dead. Once you taste death, you will appreciate it. Facing my judgment. Such people never find peace, even after death. They are destined to be torn apart by ghosts and shall forever wander the land. You will join them. But 
I was not sent here. I have not sinned or committed any crime. I merely woke up and found myself here. Queen of the Netherworld, I shall go. Allow me to prove to you that this is some mistake. Your short life is a dream. Death shall awaken you. Your sword has prolonged it. Your soul shall never rest. The Puka shall stay afloat with a candle and light the way across the desolation. Prepare yourself. So I have escaped the netherworld. But as the Queen had warned, I soon became a prisoner of the Demon Lord. I bear you no ill will. Why are you detaining me? Usually, sinners who flee the netherworld are killed, and their souls are sent back from whence they came. Be grateful! Princess Gwendolyn gave us orders to capture you. It's not this way. Go straight in the other direction. If you try anything foolish, I'll slit your throat. Is this the intruder? Yes. It is said he had a cipher. A crystal sword. Where is it? Princess Gwendolyn will deliver it to the king. It seems Gwendolyn is being lenient, as usual. If I had found him, I would have taken his life right then and there. Poor little guy. You're about to be judged, right? They say money talks, even in hell. Why not have a feast before you go? is up ahead. The king shall pass judgment on you. Now, come this way. Ah, the Valkyrie are causing a commotion over something so ludicrous. Is this the sad Puka who calls upon the Demon Lord who is feared by all? Puka? I am the Prince of Titania, Cornelius. Ruler of the Northern Realm. I have no intention of causing any damage or harm to your country. I only request permission to travel across your land. I cannot believe the story of a sinner who managed to escape the Netherworld. I have committed no sins. So you say. But that sword you carry, I remember it well. Tis a special sword our country gave to the previous king of Titania. Hm. You don't seem to be lying. But if you are a prince and have not sinned, show me your bravery to prove it. Hmm. Let's see. Bring back the horn our most ferocious warrior uses as a flagon. If you should be successful, I shall believe your story. I shall comply. I shall prove myself.
Let me return your sword. Are you really going to go? Lord Brigan is known to dislike pukas. Those outside of the castle who have heard the King's orders shall attack you. Father often asks people to perform tasks that he knows are impossible. Thank you for your concern. But I am Prince of Titania. I shall succeed with honor.
been following you. I was wondering if you could sell me that sword before you got yourself killed. No? That's too bad. I was wondering if you could sell me that sword. No?
surrender. That sword was crafted by dwarves using a jewel as its main component. When it absorbs phosons, it grows stronger as it absorbs their mystical energy. Well, this is unusual. Do you have enough medicine, little one? I'll sell you some if you require it. It pleases me to see that you are well. I am delivering a message from Princess Gwendolyn. Lord Brigand's strength lies in the four shields on his chest. You must first destroy the shields before you can defeat him. Good luck. Yeah! Ah! 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 Ah
Hurry up! Bring me more drink! Odin, can't you see that women are far more useful off the battlefield? Lord Brigand! We are in danger! Silence! What do you want? Ah! You must be Lord Brigan. Although I take this form, I am Prince Cornelius of Titania. I have come here today to borrow that horn for a just cause. I don't know what this is about, but you're an irritant, Puka. You want this horn? I'll trade your skin for it. Yeah, but with so little fur, I won't be able to do much with it. of Titania. I praise your bravery and welcome you as a guest of our kingdom. The Netherworld's queen. She called me that as well. I would like to ask you, why do you call me Puka? Those like yourself who have been cursed into the form of beasts are known as Pukas. It is a powerful curse. Not even I Knower of thousands of magics can break it. Hmm. If someone's trying to trap me, I must stop them. Your Majesty, tis my wish to return to my homeland as soon as possible. Do as you wish. Gwendolyn, escort the Prince to Ragnanovel's border. As you wish. I appreciate your help, King Odin. My apologies for my behavior. I was unaware of your impressive skills. No. Thank you for your hospitality. It seems like so long ago since I was in my own land. I can now finally return to my country, Titania.
once honorable King Edmund was once the savior of the land, but he has waned in recent years. Criminals and sorcerers now roam the streets as if they owned the city. I saw Prince Cornelius walking down the street. They say that the prince has been spending time in the bad part of town. It's as if he's a new man. People have seen me? That's ludicrous. Is someone pretending to be me? Oh. Welcome to Titania. I haven't been too profitable lately, but take a look. my wares before someone steals your money pouch. I managed to sneak in, but how will I be able to speak with my father? Someone's coming. I'll hide behind a pillar. That little fiend. He plans to renege on our deal. That's me! What's going on? I suppose I will have to be harsh if it comes to that. Otherwise, we deceived the prince for nothing. So he's behind all this. I shall cut him down! Cornelius! <laughs> Here you are, Cornelius. Have you reached a decision? Yes, of course, Father. As you asked, I will break up with the girl from the forest. What? Very good. Now, go and tell her before you change your mind. Out of political expedience. I have been considering a marriage between you and King Odin's daughter. As you wish, father. Pardon my impoliteness, but I would like to ask you something in return. What is it? The royal family's secret power. No such thing exists. Go on, leave. Stop wasting time. <laughs> Now, how did he find out about our secret power? Father! Uh, who, who are you? Please listen to me. I am your son, Cornelius. The true prince of Titania. That man was an imposter. Are you some sort of jester? Do not ridicule me, beast. I have changed since we last spoke. I said I would abdicate my position. How do you know that? I am your true son. Father, you must believe me. No, you can't be. What are you saying? What? Wait! How did you get that sword? It was given to me. A terrifying voice in the netherworld told me that it belongs to Titanian royalty. I would never mistake that blood-smeared sword. In the netherworld? Oh... No, it can't be! Guards! Guards! Take that cursed sword and get it away from me! Father, what is wrong? You lie, whoever you are! Father, please! I swear by the heavens that I am Cornelius! Ask me anything about myself. I'll prove it. I can answer any question. 
Throw him out! Now! Immediately! Father! How shameful. I'm so alone. To be treated so by my own father. Is it useless to fight back, as the Queen of the Netherworld said? <sighs> no, I cannot give in. I love the princess too much to let that happen. That imposter said that he was on his way to see Princess Velvet. He must be in Elrit Forest. Oh! <laughs> 
I, a fellow traveler? After a long journey, do you not crave a warm feast? Please stay a while and enjoy a meal. I see you have a new recipe. Please, allow me. Now then, what do you want to order? As you wish. Enjoy your meal. Is there any? As you wish. Is there anything else you want to order? As you wish. Sorry for the wait. Very well, leave it to me. Enjoy your meal. Is there anything else you want to... much. It shall be quite a pleasant meal to... Huh? A new recipe! Now then... As you wish... Enjoy your meal! Thank you very 
much.
out. I'm an innocent bystander. I'm just a nice goblin. Just don't ask where my wares came from. <laughs> Restaurant. Do you have ingredients? Now then, what do you want to order? Very well, leave it to me. Enjoy your meal. Very well. Is there anything else? Very well. Leave it to me. Is there anything else you want to order? Very well. Leave it to me. Sorry for the wait. Is there any... Very well. Leave it to me. I await your further patronage. Ah! <laughs> 
I used to run along this same path to meet her back then. And now this. There he is! Ah! You're late. I have been waiting for you. Who are you? Are you saying that you knew I was going to return to Titania? You must be the one who turned me into this! What is it that you want? I cannot simply tell you. My sword and mind are sharp. I will force you to tell me. Can you do that now? It's me, Prince. Velvet. What's wrong? Your beloved is right here. Why not recite a poem to me? Should I rock you to sleep? Princess, what's happening? I suppose being madly in love clouds one's judgment. But when you awaken, you realize that life is cruel. No, tis a lie! You aren't her! Privileged and naive morons like yourself make me furious. You should be killed. While you are still blinded by love. Shut up! You cannot be her! Obviously not Velvet. I am Ingwe. I am Velvet's twin brother. Her brother? Yes, I suppose I can see a resemblance. Why did you curse me? Why was I in the Netherworld? 
Answer me! The Netherworld? I know nothing about that. But yes, t'was I who cast the Puka's curse on you. How could I give my darling sister to you? There's no way to resume your human shape. Forget about Velvet. You two cannot be together. You! Kill me if you wish. But only if you can hold her with arms covered in her brother's blood. Ingwei! Where are you? Velvet approaches. What will you do, Cornelius? <laughs> are you going to let her see you like this? Oh, Velvet! I won't forget this, Ingwei. What happened? You're hurt! Tis nothing, worry not. What are you doing, hiding from me? You're acting very suspiciously, Ingwei. Look who's talking. You've been meeting with that oaf in secret. He is no oaf. Cornelius is a gentleman. He hasn't come to see you lately, has he? Forget him. He's just another man. I'm sure he has a reason. Give me back my chain. Please don't take it without asking. I don't think you should be flailing it around. Just learn to live peacefully and quietly. You know very well that we will never live in peace. I have certain obligations. It looks like the war between Ragnanival and Ringford is still going. I hear many have died. They say the Demon Lord's daughter is dead too. Worried for me. Halia. You should have taken my miserable life instead. What's wrong, long eared one? Take a look and liven up my business. Thank you. 
In honor of the king's recent domestic troubles, I'm having a sale. Prince! Am I hearing things? Someone called me Prince. But alas, I am no Prince. I am but a beast. I am Urza, the court magician. I am a sorcerer. I recognize the spell that has been put on you. Spells, spells, spells. All you spellcasters should be burned at the stake. Please, be rational, Prince. Tis my wish to help you, but my powers alone are insufficient to the task. The King pays no attention to my words. What do you want from me? If you care so much, resign. I have no response to your harsh words. But I have an ingenious plan I thought I could share with you. Prince, do you know of Hindle, the dragon that lives atop the snow-capped mountain? Hindle? I have heard the name. They say he knows all and can see the future. A dragon that wise should know something about your curse. But to ask a dragon is a daunting task. Just meeting one is frightening. Please, forget my rambling. I should not have mentioned it. No. Let's go. Any hope is better than none. Even in the worst case, my hollow and empty life will come to an end.
touring restaurant. I thought it was time that you'd call on me. Now then, what do you want to order? Patronage. Hey, I saw you in town. Why not buy a warming potion? Restaurant. I thought it was time that you'd call on. I see you have a new recipe. Now then. As you wish. Enjoy your meal. Very well. Sorry for the wait. Will that be all? As you wish. Enjoy your meal. Is there anything else you want? As you wish. Will that 
happy oh I await your further patronage
Aren't you the Puka who defeated Lord Brigan? What are King Odin's soldiers doing here? We patrol and survey these areas as well. Speaking of which, why are you even here? A dragon lives up here. <sighs> <laughs> you look like you might die up here. It'll be a bit expensive, but... Anything else you want to order? As you wish. Anything else you want to order? Very well. Will that be all? Very well.
Knowing dragon, king of mind, feared by all, I ask you, Hindle, reveal yourself to me and answer my question. You will never find him, little Hindle seeker. Search the corners of the world and you will still fail to meet him! A dragon? You are not Hindle? My friend was clever, but also gullible. He ignored our warning about dealing with humans and met with an ignoble death. A dragon's scales can resist a thousand ordinary swords. But a sword made of jewels and crafted by the dwarves is another story. It pierced Hindle's chest and gave him the ultimate disgrace of death. This sword was given to me in the netherworld. I know nothing of Hindle's death. I am here to ask you which path my cursed soul should take. Silence, Dragon Slayer! Why do you hate us so? Snatching Belial's soul! Stealing eggs! Hindle! The sight of the nefarious sword you hold makes my blood boil with fury! Wait! I know nothing about that! Do not waste your breath pleading with me! I will tell you of your end. The King of Dragons! I, Wagner, will destroy you! The fires of hell shall obliterate you! Pray while you still can!
attacking me. You had the chance to kill me with that evil sword, yet you did not take it. It humiliates me to be spared, but I sense your true nature. I cannot forgive those who use these weapons, nor those that create them. But just this once I will respond with compassion. Let me answer your question. So you will tell me about this curse? I believe you have heard about the obliteration of the Demon Lord's enemies. Your appearance is due to a curse that circulates in the remains of Valentine. The Princess's Kingdom. If Ingwe spoke the truth, then this all makes sense. Many survived the Cataclysm, but were turned into Pukas. I hear the Pukas have united and are working on how to break the curse. So I can return to normal? What must I do? I do not know. Look below you. The barren land below was once the capital of Valentine. The fairies now own this territory. Tis a reason for war with the Demon Lord. The Pukas live underground. You should ask them directly. Now I owe you nothing, nameless Puka. My name is Cornelius. Thank you, Wagner. Do not be mistaken. My revenge is brewing, and I shall not forgive the one wielding that awful sword. Should we meet again, you should not take me lightly. Be careful. Hmm, how shall I proceed? How can I gain entrance to this town? Hey, there's another one! You there! Please stop! I don't recognize you. You shouldn't be wandering around like this. I am Cornelius of Titania. I seek the Puka village. Well, this is unusual. A puka from another land. I am Meryl. How did you find this area? I have heard that your people are searching for a way to break the curse. Where did you hear of this? It's been kept a secret. But you are a puka. If you assist us, I suppose I can help you. Let me help however I can. Can I trust you with a secret no one can know? I swear I will tell nobody. Very well, I shall tell you. No spell can return a puka to human form, except for one thing. That is, the magic coins created in the Kingdom of Valentine. If all the coins are found, one wish may be granted. Of course, our wish will be to break the curse on us. Collecting all the coins? How many coins are there? We have all been trying. But I really don't know. It is an enormous task to collect all the coins minted from an entire country. <gasps> oh no! We can't stand here chatting. There will be a battle soon. The Demon Lord and the Fairies will fight here. Please come with me. Our secret town is up ahead.
What should I do? I cannot take this anymore. How could Princess Velvet depart on her own? Velvet? How do you like the subterranean village? It was really difficult getting it all down here. Other nations are battling to control the areas above ground. So keep this place a secret.